The Thorough Analysis of the Origin of Species, Lesson 9, The Structure of the Evolutionism, Part 2. This is a continuance of Lecture 8, Part 1. The second part of the above series is Atom, Molecule, Amino Acid, Protein. Chemistry deals with this part and I studied the step atom molecule, from atom to molecule. When I give a lecture to students on this part, I use a useful tool, quantum mechanics, but there is no way to explain it by one theory. According to phenomena, it must be explained using three theories, the atomic orbital theory, the hybrid orbital theory, and the molecular orbital theory. Schrodinger equation is not precise 100%. The spectrum phenomenon is only explained by arbitrary adjusting constant after solving the differential equation. It is a model to simulate the phenomenon mathematically in order to account the way that atom goes to molecule. Three steps from atom to protein are the same ones. Currently, there is no single theory to explain them. We live in an age of electronics. Nuclear in atom was found by Ernest Rutherford and electron around nuclear was confirmed by Joseph John Thomson. Also, their electric charge and masses were known to us, and their physical characters are used in our daily life. But we actually don't know whether the identity of electron is a particle or wave. Electron is described as a particle or wave as circumstances require. This is called the duality of electron. That is, a particle is incompatible with a wave absolutely, judging from our scientific common sense. Unfortunately, there is no single theory to explain them now. We really don't know how electron exists around nuclear. So we say electron moves around nuclear or we describe it existing by probability functions. This is the present address of the modern science. Finally, let's analyze the last step. Protein Plasma, prokaryote, eukaryote, protist, vertebrate, mammal, homo sapiens. This series consists of seven steps in the domain of biology. It consists of many steps which are inexplicable by modern science as mentioned earlier. The evolutionists don't elucidate the changing mechanism of steps connected by arrows and wrap all the threes in a package, chemical evolution. This is against reason. Though their way of thinking is very convenient, a wording chemical evolution is not in science from the start. Up to now, a side view of hardware was taken, but prokaryote, eukaryote is a step where life of a creature springs up. How can evolutionists explain the origin of life physically, chemically, and biologically? They must explain what evolved to life, what the precursor of life is, and what 
the true nature of life is. Without explaining this, wrapping all the series in a word, chemical evolution are unreasonable absolutely. Man has two kinds of life. One is a biological life and the other is a spiritual life. Evolutionist has to explain what the difference between them is and what their essences are. But they do not explain. No, they can't forever. How can the scientists who cannot explain the identity of electron can explain the essential of life? Being connected by arrows, it seems that everything is connected. However, looking into the inside of each step, the series is the list of the inexplicable by modern science. Charles Darwin didn't know what quark is and what chemical evolution is. At the end of this series, he only observed the different pattern of hexagons on the back of turtles. The spontaneous change in nature proceeds in the direction of entropy increasing. The increase of entropy means the disorderliness, but evolutionists series is the process to establish the order. This runs counter to the principle of nature. From the view of modern science to treat the microscopic domain, the series is the list of the mysterious riddles. I label the convenient way of thinking as a parasitical or an evolutionismic thinking. Evolutionism has a logic, but doesn't have a scientific basis. For your information, a mental disorder was declared on Friedrich Nietzsche at the age of 45, and he died on the street at 56. The factors hitherto mentioned are introductory remarks in order to comprehend Charles Darwin's evolution theory. From now, we will go into details of the origin of species to examine his theory carefully. See you next. Shalom.